So since we're an electric racing team, the students who work on this car and work on this team will build up a lot of knowledge and experience uh, working with high voltage components and uh, battery packs and just in general electrical systems. And that is super applicable when applying and finding uh, jobs outside of college in the sustainable energy industries or sustainable transportation industries. And ultimately that is our contribution to making the world a more greener and sustainable place. Electric Racing has been around since 2013 and so we were one of the first Formula SAE teams in the country on the electric side. So every year we design and build a Formula One style electric vehicle like you can see here and we take that to competition and compete against other teams from across the country. Other teams tend to buy pre-built uh, modules or pre-built battery management systems just to, to simplify costs and to simplify manufacturing but for us since we're we're trying to squeeze every single point and uh, performance metric out of our battery packs. We need to design it ourselves in order for us to optimize for that. Last year we were focused on getting Rev7 to even run. This year we were focused on validation and making sure that all of our circuits are optimized to be the best they can be. And Cadence's uh, platform will help us to simulate all of our designs, go through the validation process, and debug all of our boards so that we can get our boards to be uh, the best they can be. So one of the most important things when designing a battery is the thermals behind it. That's really the limiting factor because as you get higher heats, you also get more resistance and that just makes your whole system less efficient and also more dangerous. So keeping your battery cool is extremely important for most effective operation and also for safety. This year at the design event at competition, we actually got full score in battery pack design, the battery pack design section, which is something that we had um, never done before in our team history. Celsius allows us to look at the chips on our PCBs in our battery pack and see how hot they're getting over an endurance run and then make appropriate changes to ensure that our electronic components are getting adequate cooling. We use AWR for all of our high frequency, high speed RF design. Um, that includes our data acquisition board, uh, which has HDMI, USB, and other high speed communications protocols, which we need to simulate to make sure that our board functions correctly. Without AWR, we'd have to go back into the lab, order a PCB, wait weeks for it to arrive, solder it, and then test whether a small part of the circuit works without knowing whether or not it's going to work. And it would be a lot more trial and error. But with AWR, we are able to reliably know that our circuit will work before we even test it. Currently, we're designing our newest race car, Rev8, that we're going to take to competition and compete with in June. As we work to get there, um, we're going to continue to use Celsius to do even more thermal simulations for our battery pack, dealing both with the PCBs as well as with the cells. We're also planning on using Inspect AR to help us debug um, our many custom PCBs that we have on our car. And at competition this year, we're looking forward to racing at all the events, um, performing as well as we can in design, and hopefully winning the whole thing.